Hello friends, this video on integers part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us talk about the third property that is associative property. Now we all know what is associative property. So here again we play around with the order of the integers. Now let us take example. So first we will talk about addition. So in this case let us consider three integers 8, minus 2 and minus 3. So you can randomly pick up any three integers. Now here in this case we see that if you add them in this order 8 plus minus 2 plus minus 3. So this is one way in which you can add them there and there is also another way that is 8 plus minus 2 plus minus 3. So basically in this case you add the first two integers first and then you add the sum to the third integer. And in the second case you first add the second and third integer and then add the sum to the first integer. So let's see how the result varies. So 8 plus minus 2 would be 6 plus minus 3 which is equal to 3. And in this case you get 8 plus minus 5 and this is also equal to 3. So you see that both of these are the same. Let us take another example. So here again we take other, another set of 3 integers. Let's say 0, minus 3 and minus 16. So in the first case what we do? 0 plus minus 3 plus minus 16. And in the second case we will do this way. 0 plus minus 3 plus minus 16. So in the first case this would be minus 3 plus minus 16 which is equal to minus 19 and in this case this would be 0 plus minus 19 so this will be equal to minus 19. So here also we see that both of these give same results. So therefore we can conclude that if we have three integers a, b and c then a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. So whether we first find the sum of a and b and then add it to c or we first find the sum of b and c and then add it to e, the result is going to be the same. So the order of the integers doesn't really matter much. So we say that addition is associative for any three integers a, b and c, a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. Now, do you think that this associative property will hold true for subtraction of integers as well? Not too sure? Okay, let's try. So, let us take examples of three integers, say 8, minus 2 and minus 3. So, in this case, so there is one way which is 8 minus minus 2. We do this first and then subtract minus 3. So this is one thing that we can do. The other thing that we can do is 8 minus minus 2 minus minus 3. Now, and let's compare the results. So here 8 minus minus 2 would be 10 minus minus 3. So this would be equal to 10 plus 3 which is equal to 13. And in this case this would be 8 minus minus 2 plus 3. So this would be equal to 8 minus 1 which is equal to 7. So here we get the result as 7 and here the result is 13. So both of these are not equal and therefore we can say that a minus b minus c is not equal to a minus b minus c. So therefore associative property is true for addition but not for subtraction so you have you can say that subtraction is not associative addition is associative but subtraction is not associative so these are certain important things that you should remember so now we talk about another important property called additive identity so what is additive identity? It is a number which when added to any integer retains the identity of that integer. That means retains the value of that integer. 
So when you add this number to an integer, the integer remains the same. So normally what happens whenever you add 2 to some integer 13, the integer changes its value to 15. When you add 5 to minus 1, the integer changes its value to plus 4. So whenever you add some number, the integer changes its value. But there is a number which when added to an integer will retain its identity. Do you know what is that number? Nothing but 0. So 0 is called the additive identity. That is because you add any integer, add 0 to any integer, you get the same integer. So you add 15 plus 0, you get 15. You add 0 to minus 1, you get minus 1. Do you know why? Because when you add 0 to any number, let's say minus 13 plus 0 or let's say minus 1 plus 0. This is minus 1. Now, what do you want to add to minus 1? Nothing. 0 is nothing. So, you are not adding anything. So, where are you? You are still at minus 1. You, you did not make any jump at all. So, your result is minus 1. Now, when we say that minus 13 plus 0 is equal to minus is equal to minus 13, what we indirectly mean is minus 13 plus 13 is equal to 0. Similarly, here what we mean is plus 15 minus 15 is equal to 0. Here we mean to say that minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So basically additive identity tells that for any integer a, a plus 0 is always equal to a. And that is why 0 is called the additive identity. And for any integer a, minus a is the additive inverse of a. Why is it called additive inverse? Because whenever minus a is added to a, the result is 0. So you can say that additive inverse of minus 13 is plus 13. Additive inverse of plus 13 is minus 13. Similarly, additive inverse of minus 1 is plus 1. Additive inverse of plus 1 is minus 1 and so on. So this is the concept of additive identity and additive inverse. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.